very interesting very string of events. Very interesting situation that we were just in. We literally had our finger on the submit. I was just looking through Airbnb's guidelines. But Kyle said, I really hope that's not our Airbnb host, which was weird because I was feeling sick. way too early to be up. It's not even bright. It's not even bright. It's not even bright, it's just early. But we've got ourselves a ferry to catch. It's a two hour ride to the ferry terminal. And a four hour ferry ride. And that's all I've got to say. Yeah, it's early, but we're making her. Barely. Barely, Kyle's barely making her. All right, we'll talk to you guys when we're more awake. in your car so we had to come up here but we're gonna try to sleep anyways we said we weren't gonna talk to you again until we were awake but that's not happening no i'm too tired yeah all right we'll see you later we're gonna be right here we're still hanging out in the same spot that we left you i just got to learn that we made it into france i forgot to tell you guys and because i don't really think about it this island is actually in france so we just made it to country number 14 this is the longest ferry ride of my life. Yeah, this is an extremely long ferry ride. No internet, no cell service. And it's boring for you guys too because I walked up to try to film some B-roll about it. And this is nothing to film. All the windows are just covered in junk so you can't see anything. And then the inside just looks like an old ferry. And so I apologize. Peace. the free road and there's a mad rush to the cars and now we got to figure out how to get off this beast luckily our car was right outside the door let me give you some lights we, parked, we, we got parked right um right next to the stairs so we didn't have to like I don't know, rush through a bunch of people that ferry is hot and sweaty though it was gross in there hot and sweaty gross now I'm gonna eat an orange because I haven't eaten anything all day and it's like 12 o'clock. I've eaten one thing today and it was that bread, the jelly, but the jelly was rancid. So yeah, it was gross. And I'm not surprised because we have two jellies right now. And one of them is a fresh one. And the other one was this one that we've had for like three weeks and it's been like floating around in our car. And I had suggested throw it away a long time ago and Kyle said, no, I like this one. Waste not, want not. What I had to say. And then he ate it and said it was rancid. I'm all buckled so. up and ready to go. I know, me too. But I don't think we're leaving here for a while. Yeah. I'll tell you this much. It's not as fun waking up that early when you don't see a sunrise. No. All right, we're gonna talk to you when we get to better lighting. It's so hot in here. We've been sitting on this boat for like probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and we haven't even moved a muscle. I don't see any signs of movement up there. So, Washington State Ferry System is better than Corsica Ferries. Sorry, you heard it here first, everybody. But it's true. At least as far as their... What's it called? At least as far as their punctuality in getting people on and off the boat. 
Oh, I'm seeing some lights. So we are off the ferry finally. We forgot to tell you we got we booked an Airbnb for the first three nights that we're here because it's supposed to be really stormy at night. Um, and so we figured tent or car camping might not be the best idea because when we were in Cinque Terre, it was super stormy one night and it was like you would not want to be outside. That guy, what's the deal in France, people? Because um, we heard that it used to be in Italy where the people inside the roundabout had to yield to the people outside the roundabout. And I think they maybe said that was true in France too. Is that true? Because if so, that's stupid. So let me know, because that guy just let me go in the roundabout. And that's weird. And he's like looking at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so we got an Airbnb for the next couple nights. Um, this car is really a pain in the rear end as it puts us way over budget. And today is a way over budget day because the ferry was very expensive. The car, we have an Airbnb. We're going grocery shopping because our Airbnb is pretty far from things. So, but we are stopping at the grocery store. We did just see a pretty cool beach that we might stop at before we head to our Airbnb as well. Um, oh, but then anyway, so then the rest of the time we're planning to car camp. It looks like there's a lot of car camping around to be done. So we're gonna head to the grocery store. We'll see you in a bit. We're at the beach, y'all. We said to message our Airbnb host that we're gonna be a couple minutes late because we're gonna go for a dip. We didn't tell him we're going for a dip. We just told him we're gonna be a couple minutes late. It is hot. It's probably mid 90s right now. Um, that water is looking good. It looks like it's a sandy beach too. Yes, yes. So we didn't spend very much time on the beach. There was Fair a reason mission. that it wasn't very busy and it was because there was, I don't know if there was stingrays or eels or electric jellyfish eels or, or jellyfish, something fish. in the water that was stinging people. Or biting. Or biting. So every time someone would get in the water, someone would warn them like you need to get out because there is something in there and like everyone was seeing them everywhere but, so we couldn't go swimming so we laid on the beach for a while but it's incredibly hot it's too hot to not be going swimming so we stayed for like half an hour or so now we're gonna start heading to our Airbnb it's about an hour and a half away anything you want to say um no some guy how we knew that was some guy came over and told us I had just stuck my feet in the water but he came over and we didn't know what he was saying, but something that was stinging. And then every time somebody else went in the water, somebody would go tell them that they needed to get out. So big bummer though. It's a bummer because it was a not crowded beach and there was water right there and it was sandy. Oh well. On to our Airbnb. Yeah. So update for you guys, we <laughs> made it to into the mountains where our Airbnb is supposed to be. Way far away from anything. Like very far from anything, which in the descriptions and everything it said it was pretty far but not this far, like this is really far from anything. And we get here and the only thing here is a church. That's where Google Maps took us, was to this church. And there's like no houses around or anything. And we had messaged our Airbnb host over two hours ago, letting him know that we were going to be a little late and if that was okay. And he didn't reply. Now we've sent him two more messages and he still hasn't replied. Yeah, I don't know how long you give something like that. Because like we're up in the mountains, so if we can't have a place tonight, we need to go down and try to find somewhere to sleep. Because th these, these roads are super narrow and we're way up here yeah. 
So it took us like over an hour to get up here. We need to like start making our way down if this isn't gonna work. And I'm so frustrated right now. I don't know, I'd probably just give him like, I would give him more time, but he didn't reply to that first one. Like yeah. you were saying, you know? And I'm wondering if the message he sent us last night was like an automated message. So I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the message that we just sent him, we made sure to be clear that like Google Maps took us to this church that was in the photos, but the entrance is not accessible and it does not look like a house because the entrance is all like blocked off. You can't even get in there. So at least like if we have to cancel it, cause you're supposed to give 24 hours cancellation notice to get refunded, but at least maybe we could dispute it with Airbnb and tell them like this took us, this was not what we thought it was gonna be and he never replied. Yeah, I think if we have, I mean we have proof that three messages that we sent him and if he didn't reply to either, I'm sure it will be fine. I'm just worried cause I'm worried like if we start heading down yeah. that he'll reply, you know? But anyways, this is just, turning into quite something. Also, these roads that we drove up on, you guys saw them, they're like, not even for cows. cars. They're like for motorcycles and- Cows. There's just cows. Cows everywhere! <laughs> oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? I don't know what to do. I guess we'll check in with you guys later. Still haven't heard anything from our host. I think we're gonna give him till four o'clock, which is in only two minutes. But that would have been giving him about 20 minutes. Plus and two hours. Plus two hours, because he didn't reply to that first one is what we're thinking. And then, looks like there's an option to call. And so I guess we'll call. He doesn't speak English though, because like the messages we had to translate from French. And someone wrote on their review that he doesn't speak English. And someone wrote on the review that he doesn't speak English. So, at this point, I'm kind of just over it. You know, I kind of just want to keep moving along and find a different place to stay. Because this isn't exactly the location we thought we were going to be in. Anyway, we're already talking about dropping one of our days here. But I guess we'll see. We'll let you guys know shortly. All right. So, update you guys. Very interesting Very of events. Very interesting situation that we were just in. Um, not sure if it was scary or not, but I'll let you know what happened. So, we found our Airbnb. Finally, we were about to submit we, our cancellation. Yeah, we literally had our finger on the submit. I was just looking through Airbnb's guidelines. And we had called him and everything. We called him, it. left him a message, and then we get a message from him right before we're about to submit our cancellation. And at that point, we were kind of frustrated because we wanted to just cancel it because it had been such a hassle. And at that point, we had waited longer than since the last time we had updated you. We had even waited a little bit. So it had been a while. And then I backed into something. Then Kyle backed into something, but... In the rental car. In the rental car, but I think that the Lord... Well, we think he backed into something. I did. But I was praying the whole time, you know, that there'd be no damages because we were already having stressful moments. And I think the Lord just put his hand over our car because there's no scratches, there's no dents, nothing. Um, it's totally fine. So, um, but we... The guy messaged us and he told us to keep driving up next to the bell tower. So we kept driving and we see this man walking down. And I don't mean to be judgmental because he wasn't scary looking or anything like that. Um, you know, he was just a normal looking man, but both Kyle and I immediately had like sick feelings in our stomach. We're and, a big believer in the gut feeling. Yeah, we're huge believers in our gut feelings. It saved us a lot of times. And Kyle immediately said, and Kyle is usually not one. I'm more of the gut feeling kind of person, but I'm also very dramatic. So sometimes I feel like maybe I'm just being dramatic, but Kyle said, I really hope that's not our Airbnb host, which was weird because I was feeling sick. And I promise you guys, it's not the way he looked or anything. I don't I don't want it to sound like that. He literally was just a normal man walking down the hill, but we both had this immediately bad feeling. And so we get out. No, we didn't get out. We kept driving because I was like, well, we'll just keep driving past. But we're in this little small town. There's like two houses. And so he flags us over and he asks if we're Kyle. He said, yeah. And he, he, like we told you, he didn't speak English. So it was really awkward. And he like stands at our car for a while, not saying anything. And then we're like, do we park somewhere? And he told us to turn around and park back where we had came from. So we went and parked and he stood there and waited for us. And then he didn't say anything to us. He just started walking. So we were like, okay, I guess we're gonna follow him. And so we followed him and he opened the door and it was like 
it's pitch black, first of all, and it smelled really bad. It smelled like urine. And there was a stairs going up, which was his place, which was right there. Like, I don't even know if he had a door on his place. He just went straight up. And then this way was our place. So he like lets us in and he doesn't show us around, which- He was like staring at us the whole time. Yeah, which if you've done Airbnb, the hosts, even if they don't, like we've had hosts that don't speak English quite a few times and they still try to kind of communicate or we use Google Translate and they kind of show you like this, you know, and they do like hand gestures. Very careful on this road, it's freaking me out. They do hand gestures, and, but he wasn't saying anything and he was just staring at us. And he kept looking me up and down, like, I don't know if he was like, like looking at me and he was like a middle-aged man, so it was making me really uncomfortable. And then he just kept staring at us, like he wasn't saying anything, he just stared at us. So like we kind of showed ourselves around and he kind of just like followed and looked at us. And we both just had really bad feelings. So we thought, okay, well maybe this was just a bad experience altogether and we're just being dramatic. So we're like, okay, well at least just go grab our stuff to take showers. So then we can just like take showers and kind of feel it out from there. So we go and grab our stuff and we expected him to like have gone back up to his place because he obviously lived right above. But we came back and he was just waiting in that waiting area, that like little area that was like the common area, I guess. And he was just like waiting there. So we kind of like walked past him when we were like, oh, thank you. And he didn't say anything again. And then he shut the door behind us and watched us walk into our Airbnb. And so I was gonna take a shower, but just something in my gut was like, this is not good. This is not a good situation. And he did have good reviews, but they were all from early 2018 and 2017. So I don't know like recently if many people have stayed there. And there wasn't that many reviews. There wasn't that many reviews, no. Um, so our gut feeling told us to leave. So we're gonna eat the money, which totally. is a and bummer. This is the first time we've ever left anywhere. This is, yeah, the well, first time. We've only had good experiences on Airbnb. And yeah. this is, I don't know. So it's not worth, we're gonna get refunded $48. And so it's not worth risking anything over $100 when we both had bad feelings. Yeah, we would much rather be safe than to be sorry, and there we did not feel safe. Not to mention... Chances are we would have been fine. Chances are yeah. we would have been okay, but we don't want to risk it. Not to mention we're up, nobody else is up there. There was one other old man who you could tell lived there, um, but it wasn't like a town. It was just a few houses and his pizza shop, so I just didn't feel... I felt like if something were to happen, it wouldn't be easy to get out of it. So I wanted to leave while it was still daylight. We're gonna message him and just tell him it was just way too far of a drive. We're only here a couple days and we wanna be able to go into the city, so we're just gonna camp. We're gonna be nice about it, but that's our story. And we're sticking to it. And we're sticking to it. But yeah, we've never done this before. We've never had a bad experience with Airbnb. We've had like Airbnbs where we showed up and they're like a lot dirtier than we expected or they're not the picture at all. Yeah. But that this kind one of also wasn't really the picture, you know? This one was not the picture yeah. and it was dirty. But that kind of stuff really doesn't bother us. Like, if it's dirty, we just like kind of clean it ourselves and go move on. Or if it's not like the pictures, like it doesn't matter to us. But th this was the first experience that we've had where we just like, <clears throat> something was off. There was something weird about it. So we're leaving and- Now we gotta find somewhere to stay tonight. We're gonna try camping. Um, if anything, we'll just sleep in the car. Really, I feel a lot better about this. Like, I felt like a weight was just like lifted off my shoulders as we drove away, so. Our budget is shot for the day, though. Our budget is shot, but right now, we're not worrying about the budget, we're worrying about our safety. This is a lesson for you guys, though. I truly believe that you should go with your gut instincts. I think there's too many times that people get into situations where they said, you know, that they felt uncomfortable and they didn't get out of it and bad things happen. And so I think even if you think that you're being silly, like we kind of feel like we're being silly, but even if you think that, I truly feel that your gut feeling is the correct feeling. And you'd much rather put yourself in a better situation than to stay in something that might harm you. Anything to say? Nope. Peace. We're gonna let you know what we find, where we're gonna be staying tonight. All right, we'll see you later. Finally made it. We had to go get money from the ATM. 
And now we're here. Now we gotta set up the postcard. It's back in action today. And then we're gonna hammock and we're gonna call it a night in the hammock. We're tired. We woke up really early this morning and had quite the day. Here we go. And I think that's where we're gonna leave you guys today. Stressful long day. Yeah. But we're here. We're here. We don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. We don't really know what we're gonna do for the next week and a half. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we need to figure that one out. We got we got the postcard set up. Right there. Ugly as ever. Ugly as ever. We're just swinging in the hammock. Just nice right there. Yeah. Now. I feel like, I don't know, I was really looking forward to a bed today in a shower. But I guess that's how it happens sometimes. So, with all that being said. Yeah, we had a bed last night. Yeah. Not a shower though. Shower. Well, that's all. Hopefully you found entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> we we'll made it to the time. end. You're troopers. Yep. We'll oh, yeah. see you next time. This was a glimpse at what it's really like sometimes. So we mm. will see you next time. <laughs> see you later. Uh, all right. Bye. Peace out, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Are we merging? Sorry, didn't know we were merging. <laughs> Like a zipper, folks. Like a zipper. Here we go. Ichabod King and the Waking Crew. Ichabod King and the Waking Crew. Ichabod King and the Waking Crew. Ichabod King and the Waking Crew.